Okay, injury front. David Njoku has an ankle injury. He's week to week. Uh, we'll update uh, you guys as the week goes on. Farrell Brown is in concussion protocol. Uh, Jacob Phillips has an injury to his pec. Um, that's likely uh, season ending, but uh, we'll update you as this, as this week uh, goes on. You know, I think you guys understand how frustrating it is when, when you try to win in this league and, and you and you come close and, and you don't get it done. That's really frustrating. And, and it's frustrating because the guys are putting in the work. Coaches are putting in the work, but we got to come away with uh, victory. So uh, we're, we're committed to that. We're working hard in, in this building today, learning from yesterday. Uh, because you have to, you absolutely have to, you have to learn some of those little things that, that um, we can take care of and then get over the hump and, and get a win, get a big uh, division win. And we get an opportunity to do that this week. We get a division opponent at our house Monday night, Halloween in front of our fans. Uh, that's, that's a, that's an amazing thing for us to have right in front of us. So I, we're excited about that. And uh, with that, I'll take any questions. Thank you, coach. The first one will be from Scott Petrick. Hey, Kevin, did you get an explanation from the league about the uh, false start penalty? Not yet. I've had one phone call in. I'll, I'll have another phone call later today. It, when you watch the film, did you think Charlie moved the ball? Because that's what Coach Harbaugh seemed to think. He didn't. I mean, Charlie's a veteran, uh, long snapper. He did nothing differently than he's done his entire career. Uh, we're in no way trying to draw them offside in that situation. The risk reward is way, way, way too high. You may do that if it's on the plus 10 and it's a short field goal. There's teams I see do that, but that certainly was not what we were doing there. And last thing on the field goal, why go with a yard um, shorter on the second try? Yeah, that's just something uh, with Charlie and, and the uh, holder that we uh, got to work through. Thank you, Scott. Next is Cam Justice. Hey, Kevin. I know that this season has had plenty of challenges for you guys, but I'm looking at last year and the team's motto was, you know, smart, tough, and accountable. Do you still feel like this far into the season that the team embodies those adjectives and characteristics? Yeah, I, I think you're right, Cam. Things, you know, you never know what's coming and it's a test. Everything's a test uh, and losing is hard. It's no fun, but it's a test for us. And and I do believe in, in those players. I do believe in those coaches. I do believe in our identity, uh, to, to your point. Um, but we got to just go do it. Um, but, but I do believe that, uh, everything in front of is in front of us and, and you get to, you get to really test your resolve uh, right now. Is there any part of, of those three descriptors that you would like to see more of from this team, looking at what they've been able to do and how they're trending? Yeah, it's all of it, uh, Cam, you know, we, we want to be smart. We want to be tough. We want to be, you know, accountable to each other. We want to be a resilient team. Uh, it, it's it's who we are. Um, and again, you're going to get opportunities. We got a great one uh, this week coming up versus a really good football team at our place. Thank you, Kim. Mary Kay Cabot, we'll go to you. Uh, yeah, Kevin, just wondering, you know, after the game, Amari owned um, the OPI and, you know, and, and said that he should not have done that. Um, just your thoughts on, you know, him kind of coming out and doing that. And also after you, watched that again uh was that the kind of the call that you've seen go either way many times yeah I mean I think you're exactly right Mary Kay you've seen that one go either way there is hand fighting in this league uh I get it he created some separation there so you're, you're beholden to whatever the officials uh saw and do you uh you know do you respect the fact that you know Amari owned that he might yeah. make that catch without doing it yeah I mean Amari's a pro uh He's accountable to, to his team. Uh, we're going to be counting on him moving forward. Uh, he, he's, a, he's a really good player, um, and, and I understand that that was an unfortunate moment, but uh, he's, he's moving forward. Thanks, Mary Kay. Jeff Shadell has our next question. Hey, Kevin, I want to ask you about the last two minutes of the first half and the first series of the third quarter. I think that you, you had called 10 straight pass plays. Uh, so my question is, why wasn't Nick Chubb? Why, why didn't you give a call running plays for Nick in those in those two parts of the game? Yeah, I think you know we got into a two minute drive, uh, Jeff, at, at the end there, and we, and we didn't come away with points. I think we started on the uh, twelve yard line, got it out there to the the forty forty two, uh, and we stalled. And and that's you know I take that that upon me. I have to get the offense to break through there. You're trying to score a touchdown settle for a field goal and and we didn't either we punted and that's really 
unacceptable. But when you get in those two-minute situations, Jeff, uh, sometimes Kareem is in there as our two-minute back, as our third down back. And in a lot of ways, that's to keep Nick fresh throughout the game. Um, and then we come out of the second half and we go sack, completion to Nick, and then a strip sack. Um, so that that's a, that's how it went down. Um, it's not what we're trying to do, obviously. Um, trying to just be efficient in the run and the pass game. Uh, trying to avoid third down as best we can and come away with points when we uh, have opportunities to do it. So uh, when it's not good enough, uh, that's that's on me and us to get it fixed. And there were just too many moments there uh, where the offense hit a lull. And versus a good team, you just got to – you have to make the most of your opportunities. And and I, I didn't feel like we did that, and, and that falls squarely on me. Thank you, Jeff. Let's go to Matt Fontana. Yeah, Kevin, you know, last week we hear from John Johnson about – Guys, you know, the, the commitment that we talked so much about, there are reports that guys were pretty loud and animated in the locker room yesterday. Do you feel like the players are at a real breaking point or maybe boiling over with their frustration? No, I don't. That's the short answer. The long answer is losing is frustrating. <laughs> I think I think uh, I hope everybody gets that. Um, nobody likes it. It's a horrible feeling. Uh, look around the league. I'm, I know there's buildings that feel like we do right now. And it's, it's, it's not fun. Um, but I know this, these guys work hard, uh, they, they play hard and they're going to continue to prepare. And, and that's what we, we have to do. And, and that's why this opportunity right in front of us, starting with this Monday night game, that's why it's so important. And is there an element of positivity on that where guys are saying, Hey, I care enough that I'm going to call guys out or I care enough to, to, to voice my opinion to other guys. Yeah, I mean that's the environment you have in sports uh, with locker rooms. It's you're pushing each other, um, and, and it's frustrating when you're losing, and it's an amazing feeling when you're winning. Uh, so that's that's all it is. You just got to continue to push each other. Thanks, Matt. Daryl Ryder, you're up. Yeah, Kevin. I I know every season is different. Um, in 2020 things were just so challenging for you guys. And it just seemed that no matter what was thrown at you, as far as adversity, you guys just were able to handle it and, and be successful and be at your best. So my question is that why uh, this year do you guys as a team seem to be struggling uh, with adversity, whether it's uh, what, you know, one play or a penalty or whatever, it just seems to, things kind of snowball a little bit on you. So why do you think it's been so tough for you guys this year to kind of not allow that adversity to, to uh, stop you? Yeah, I, I think you're right, Daryl. And every year is different. I, I really can't compare the years. I just think uh, where we are right now, we got to find a way to win. You know, I, I've said it, you've heard me say it. Uh, there are the little things in football uh, that you have to do uh, to win on the margins um, and we got to start doing them because these games are close. That's the NFL. It's why the product is so great. It's so exciting because these games are close. Uh, we've won close games before, uh, and we have to find ways to close these out. Um, and that's something that we're working really hard on. And then a question about special teams. Just every week, there seems to be something that, that pops up. Uh, whether it, you know, yesterday it was uh, giving up a big return. It was bringing the ball out when you probably shouldn't have and getting a penalty to compound that problem, uh, blocked field goal. Just why are there so many issues in that phase of the game week to week? And just how frustrating is that for you? Because I know you place a, a premium on that. Yeah. I mean, it's the ultimate team game, Daryl. So to win, you gotta, you gotta play good football, offense, defense, special teams, uh, there were moments there yesterday where we didn't do enough from a special team standpoint. You mentioned the long return, the, the block field goal. Uh, so we have to be better. Um, we'll coach real hard, make sure the guys understand that. Um, and, and we will get better just from, from making sure that they uh, understand what we're asking them to do. And then we got to go execute. Thank you. We'll go to Tony Grossi. Oh, one question back on the placement of the field goal. Are you saying that the holder and, uh, snapper made that decision on their own? No, I no, not saying that. I think with the penalty moving us back those five yards, I think we just didn't adjust accordingly. Um, but those guys are always working to make sure that they're got their landmarks correct. Uh, I don't believe that was the reason the uh, ball was uh, blocked. And, and on the uh, pass to Cooper on the OPI, great pass, should have been a touchdown. But is that a 
audible or do you call going for the end zone with three minutes to go in the game there? Yeah, I mean, it was not an audible. Um, you're looking for opportunities, Tony, to score touchdowns. We'll take them whenever we can get them. If we got to play defense, we'll play defense. I think I understand what you're saying, where you'd love to take it all the way down to one and, and score in the last play. Uh, but when you're playing a good defense and you have an opportunity with a one on one ball, you got to take it. Next up, back to Scott Petrick. Hey, Kevin, back, back to the injuries. Um, week to week, does that mean you don't expect David this week? I'd like to get late, you know, it's a Monday night game. So I want to get later in the week before I can make that determination. And then Jacob, do you know if the pecs related at all to the bicep that kept him out a lot last year? I do not. I'm not sure. Do you know how he got hurt? Was he just making a tackle? Yeah, I believe it was one of the tackles along the sideline. Okay. And last, is Denzel still in the protocol? Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Ashley Bassock, you're up. Hey, Kevin, another Jacob question. I mean, he's just had so many injuries throughout this early portion of his career. Just, I guess, like how how unfortunate it is for him to go through another one of these, you know, major injuries after the one he dealt with last year. Yeah, I feel for all of our guys, actually, when they're going through these, it's uh, not fun to be hurt. It's not fun to be in the training room, not fun to go get surgery, not fun to rehab, all those things. And unfortunately, Jacob's uh, had to do that. Uh, I know this, he responds when he has to do this, you know, he, he works like crazy. I know he'll work like crazy to get back out there. Um, and un unfortunately injuries are, are part of our game. We see it, you know, too often in this league and, and it's, it's so, so uh, unfortunate for the players in this case, Jacob, um, but it also is, is part of the game. And then as far as the green sticker, will that Dion take that over or JJ three, or are you guys talking about yeah. that still? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work through all, all those things. Thanks. Thanks, Ashley. Next up, Fred Greetham. Hey, Coach. I know it's a bottom line business, but, you know, it's probably not escaped you that, you know, four losses out of five, a total of nine points. Is that your selling point or the hope to build the team, not to let it spiral out of control the season of we're only one play away almost every game? Yeah, I, I think it just speaks to – Again, going back to we, we know these are close games, Fred. That they that's just how the NFL is. Um, we welcome that. That's part of the excitement of being a competitor in, in those moments. Um, and then we got to come through. And you really never know when that play that's going to swing the tide matters. There's plays in the first quarter uh, that, that you don't want to uh, lose the ability to go make a big play that uh, you know can affect the game. So it just will go back to making sure we're sound in everything we're doing: offense, defense, special teams. Thanks. Mary Kay, you there? Yep. Oh, did you? I'm sorry. I didn't hear. Anything. Not your fault. That's, that's Rob's fault, Mary Kay. <laughs> um, yeah, just wondering a little bit about Kareem Hunt. Uh, he hasn't had too many touches, you know, over the last two weeks, actually. And, uh, you know, his average this game on runs was not um, – very good. So is there anything going on with Kareem You're trying to get him involved and it's just kind of not happening or what's the deal there? Yeah. You know, the, the run opportunities he had were not blocked correctly. Uh, you know, they, they, and to Baltimore's credit, they, they, they did a nice job. So that's not on Kareem. Um, he's playing hard. Like he always does opportunities didn't uh, come up necessarily, but he, he did a nice job on his plays scored for us late. So um, he'll continue to do things that help us win. Thanks. Thank you, Mary Kay. Let's take two more. Marla Ragnar, Tony Grossi. Marla. Yeah, Kevin, just curious about what you saw out of Deion Jones just in the time you had. And, you know, obviously it looks like he's going to have to do more. Yeah, yeah. I think he had 30 some plays, Marla. Had to play a little bit more with Jacob going out there um, towards the end. You know, he, he's a good veteran linebacker for us. He's hasn't played football in a little while. So I think it was just natural that uh, he's playing himself, not in the football and he's in good shape, but in the football shape, if you will, uh, just because when you haven't played in a while and then you're thrust out there. So I think he'll only get better because of that uh, has a very, very good understanding of what we're doing. So we'll see how the role, uh, you know, carves out as we move forward. And just the, the pressure that the Ravens put on uh, the offensive line. I mean, usually that's one of the strengths of your team. Do you think it was a, you had any issues without Teller or just wondering about that? Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they have good players. Uh, they have good rushers that they beat us on a couple of our one-on-ones. 
Um, there's at least once where I felt like I could have helped the offense with the play call in those scenarios. Uh, but we, we got to, we got to do our best to protect. We got to take care of the ball. Um, it, it's all those things moving forward. Thank you, Marla. Final question to coach Tony Grossi. Kevin, in the, in the first half, the decision to challenge the look like a sack, but wasn't, and that was a big swing position of the field. And when they punt it a second time. Yeah. Uh, what, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your information was that he might've been down obviously. Right. Yeah. Obviously, you know, we missed that one. It happens. Uh, my, it's always on me, Tony. Uh, you know, even if they tell me one thing, I, it's ultimately my decision on what to do. Just felt like in the first half, uh, you can be a little bit more aggressive in those situations. It's, it was about 15 yards of field position potentially, um, and you're playing that field position game. Obviously, obviously, if I could do it over, you you don't challenge that for for the reasons that we all saw. So um, you're, you're going to miss that at times, and uh, but that, that's my responsibility.